Join us on an exclusive behind-the-scenes look of the epic vampire adventure, Heirs of the Night. Heirs of the Night was filmed in Croatia, Norway, Lithuania, and Latvia, over a period of 13 months. Set in 1889, the story tells about the five remaining vampire clans in Europe who are trying to survive the attacks of both humans and other vampires. In their midst is Ulisa, who has the power to choose between eternal life as a vampire, or for all vampires to live as humans. Director Dijkvik van Ruyen put together a cast of very talented young actors to get the story to life. Portraying the battle against Dracula to fight for what is good, and just, in our world. Vampires can't stand sunlight, so they live at nighttime. Filming at night for months in a row, would be impossible, so almost all 26 episodes were filmed, day for night. Director of Photography, Rolf Deakins explains how this works. Yes, we had a 107 day shooting schedule, so we chose to shoot day for night. What we basically did is that we considered the sun as our moonlight and used it as backlight as much as possible. We also created very strong highlights to give it a sense of nighttime. Uh, for example, these little lanterns you see, they were actually 2000 watt light bulbs. It's a candle! It's a candle! We tried to schedule our exterior scenes as much in the morning and in the late afternoon as possible, so the sun wouldn't bother us as much as it would at 12 o'clock at noon. And we used a lot of smoke. Overcast also worked in our advantage, uh, because it was easier to have stronger highlights, so on a cloudy day it was easier for us to convince the audience that the story was actually taking place at night. It is a fantasy story, so you have some extra wiggle room, but we didn't want it to look cheap. It looks great! Thank you! The scenes which took place at daytime, we made extra warm, so we had a nice contrast between day scenes and night scenes. The difference between how it looked on set with the naked eye and the final end result was so big that we had pretty strong LUTs. And LUTs are pre-color graded setups to put in the camera, so you have a sense of how the end result will look. We did have a couple of night shoots. Uh, because of uh, scenes where it was raining and rain is very hard to see at daytime so we shot those at night because it looks awesome oh, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> and we had a couple of scenes where the light had to change because of dramatic purposes and we also scheduled those at night but in total on a 107 day shooting schedule we had seven or eight night shoots ladies and gentlemen i would like to introduce to you anna our female ah! <laughs> I bought you a walkie talkie! <laughs> oh yeah, thanks. You're welcome. Yeah, we didn't drop it. <laughs> okay, so the spark is um, Elisa's connection to Dracula. But yeah, it comes up in Elisa's hand, I guess, as a kind of glow, which I guess is the, you know, like his soul, his humanity. It kind of has its own life, so it shows her things when she needs to see them, it sort of transports her to wherever Dracula is if something important is happening with him. So it allows her to see uh, different things that are important to her and important on her journey. 